Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up the Webmin GUI Admin Control Panel for Ubuntu Server hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this AWS Marketplace listing from where you can create a new virtual machine. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you need to click on accept terms and then simply wait for the validation process to complete. After the validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, choose the AMI software version and then lastly choose the region which is the most crucial step. So you want to choose the region that is physically closest to you. After that, simply click on continue to launch. Now, it is going to ask you to either launch the virtual machine using the website or from the EC2 management console. So from this drop down menu, I'm going to change it to launch through EC2 and click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. From this tab, you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name. I'm going to call it Webmin GUI. Scroll down and make sure that the image selected is the same one as the one that you got from the description box. Scroll down even more, choose the instance type, choose the key pair, either create a new key pair or use an already existing one. Scroll down even more and when you're satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. After that, it is going to do some kind of processing and then it is going to show you this screen from where you want to click on view all instances. Now, as you can see that our newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So simply wait for a few moments for it to change its state from pending to running. And when it is in the running state, we want to open up the SSH terminal. So for that, simply click on the virtual machine's name, right click on it and click on connect. After that, you want to copy this command and then open up either the command prompt or the PowerShell and simply paste in the command. And then you want to replace all of the data between the quotation marks because this is the path for the private key. So replace this for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. Now this is going to connect you to the SSL terminal of your virtual machine. Now, what we want to do is that we want to configure the SSL tag for the webmin server. That is because sometimes when we try to access the webmin portal, we are met with the SSL error. For that, simply type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash webmin forward slash mini serve dot config and then hit enter. And within this file, we want to change this SSL tag from 1 to 0 and then hit control O to save the file and control X to exit the file. After that, we want to restart the service of webmin. So type in the command sudo forward slash etc forward slash init dot d forward slash webmin space restart. After the webmin server has been restarted, we can access the webmin's portal. For that, simply go back to EC2 management console, go back one step, click on your virtual machine and copy this public IP address and then paste this IP address in a new tab and then add in the port number 10,000 and hit enter. Now as you can see it is asking us for the username and password but we have not given any credentials whatsoever. So basically it is asking us for the sudo user's username and password of our operating system. So there are two solutions to this. Either we create a new user and add it to the sudo users group or we simply give a password to the current root user. So for the sake of this tutorial I am going to give the password to the current root user. By the way, you can check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide which contains the method to add a new user and then add it to the sudo users group. So from the SSH terminal, you want to type in the command sudo space password with the spelling PASSWD and hit enter. Now it is going to ask you for a new password so type in a new password, re-enter the password and when you have successfully updated the password, go back to the webmin portal and refresh the page. After that, type in the username root and the password that you have just given to the root user. Now this is going to allow you to log in to the webmin GUI portal. Now in here the very first thing that you want to do is you want to refresh the modules. For that simply click on this button that says refresh modules. After it has successfully refreshed all the modules, if you want to install new packages or maybe update some old packages, you want to click on system over here and then click on software package updates. It is going to show you a list of all the available packages that can be updated. So select the packages that you want to update and then click on this button that says update selected packages. Now it is going to show you the list that can be updated and simply 
click install now to start the installation process. Now your webmail server is not only set up but it is also running the latest packages. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the AWS marketplace listing and for the step by step blog post guide. And lastly if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.